So yesterday, we got some pretty big news in the world of VR, or in this case, XR, here reading from blog.google. Android XR, the Gemini era comes to headsets and glasses. Google, as they say, has partnered with Samsung and Qualcomm to announce Android XR, a platform to extend your reality, to explore, connect, and create in new ways. Guys, basically, this is a flavor of Android that is meant for smart glasses or VR headsets. Now, there's a bunch of interesting stuff here, right? So circle to search is a thing in this version of Android, which is really, really interesting. Google Photos is there. Google TV, of course, YouTube is going to be there. They've got navigation. Think about a pair of smart glasses. Well, Google Maps navigation is there. Translation is going to be there. Real-time tutorials. Gemini is all built in, but there's only so much that you can really get from a blog post like this. So what I've done is I've downloaded the Android Studio application and I have installed the Android XR emulator. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this emulator and just kind of explore what this OS is going to be like just a little bit. See what kind of information we can get this way. So the first thing that you may notice is that the Google Play Store is there. It is running natively on this version of Android. So, you know, look, things like the MetaQuest headsets do run a build of Android, but it's heavily customized and they don't have access to the Play services and therefore the Play Store. This will not have that issue. Let's get signed in. Okay, so here is the Play Store. And something I want to point out is it looks like we kind of have this little like transparent window around it. What does this mean? Okay, so it looks like we can grab these floating windows and move them around in the world. Of course, if this was real, the area that you see behind that floating window would likely be like a pass-through, something you may be familiar with with the Apple Vision Pro or MetaQuest headsets. But of course here, there's no way to really do a pass-through, so that's what it's going to look like. Seems like we can also resize this window probably by pinching with our hand or using a controller and dragging this thing down to be a little bit bigger. Let's click on this minimize button and it looks like now I would imagine we would just be sort of seeing a pass through mode, but we can probably click a home button on our controller and see different things. So we have home, we have, I'm guessing this is recents, and yes, indeed it is. It also looks like we have notifications right there, physical keyboard, virtual SD card, that's kind of funny. And then these are probably going to be our quick settings. This is very, very similar to what you have on Android. So here's a cool feature too, a pass-through window. So what this would be is you can have this area, maybe it's your keyboard on your desk that will be pass through. So maybe the rest of your experience, you're seeing something else. You're seeing, you know, in this case, it looks like you're out in Arizona or something like that. But when you look down, there's a hole in it where you can see your actual keyboard. Maybe that's connected to the headset and you're getting work done that way. Let's take a look at the settings application and see what it will show us. And we're going to drag this to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit easier for you guys to see. And this just looks like straight up Android. This is, yeah, I don't see anything here that looks particularly strange. This is just Android. It looks like if we swipe to the right, we do have a list of other applications. There's a camera, there's the Chrome browser, file settings, Play Store. Again, so some of these are being duplicated. I would guess that Chrome looks like regular Chrome. So it looks like we have some sort of like a keyboard bar down here, but this does look basically exactly how you'd expect. It's Google Chrome. Let's go back to the Play Store, though, and see if we are able to just look at normal applications. Like, what are the limitations right now for this? An application that I had to sideload on my MetaQuest, just kind of messing around with the ability to sideload Android applications, is Threads. And it is able to be installed, as is Instagram X. Twitch, Facebook, it looks like even Blue Sky, Discord, that is really, really cool. It looks like most applications are going to be able to install and run on this thing just fine. I'm going to go ahead and install Threads and sign in and just see how that looks. So there are a couple of interesting things that I want to quickly show you. I'm signing in on Threads, and as you can see, we, we have our Google Password Manager working just fine. So that is really, really cool to see. But also Threads is sitting on top 
of the Google Play Store. Am I able to drag this away? I don't know. Maybe there's a way in the emulator to like turn my head basically, but these windows are stacked on top of each other. Drag mouse to rotate. There we go. So I can actually sort of look around. And what this is simulating is just me turning my head in three-dimensional space. So you can arrange these windows wherever you want them. So imagine just sort of sitting at your desk or wherever on your couch and you have all of these different applications arranged all around you. And it's the applications that you're used to using on your phone. It's all the same applications. The potential for this is amazing. This is also kind of interesting. So I went home and you can see the applications are still kind of somewhat visible there in the background. I also want to say this is kind of a sad news story that has randomly popped up. Condolences to Mr. O'Brien for the loss of both of his parents. That is uh, quite sad and unfortunate. I see we have a new option that has popped up, tidy up. Let's click on that and okay, what it did is it automatically tried to rearrange the different windows. We're just gonna go to my profile so that we're not staring at such a sad story. So that is a pretty cool feature. Let's go back home and we'll look at the recents once again and you should see very similarly to Android, all of these open applications where we can hit close all and get an empty workspace once again. But guys, I think that those are all of the biggest things worth kind of looking at for right now inside that emulator. If you have any other questions about things you want to see, drop those into the comments down below. I do think overall, I am fairly optimistic and excited about this concept. We're going to have an operating system that will be able to be used by many different vendors. We know that Samsung is working on something. And again, it's not just headsets. It's also smart glasses as well. And the fact that you're going to have access to all of the Google goodness, the things that make me love Android right there inside a headset or inside a pair of smart glasses. And look, let's be real. The games that are there for the MetaQuest devices should be relatively easy to port over because those Quest devices do run Android. So I think that this is going to be a real competitor to Meta and what they are doing. And if the price is right, if they are able to do this, you know, and not be several thousand dollars. And again, if we have multiple different vendors, I see no reason why this would not be a thing. You'll have high end, mid range, low end. You'll have the full, just like with Android, the full gamut of different prices. I think that the potential here is really, really high. But of course, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. So do drop those comments, subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.